Uh, Should I call you Logan Weapon X? No, Wolverine, Snickety Snickety Snowing. This is Comic Book Lexicon. I'm Stephen Thomas. And I'm Joshua of Grand Rapids. And we're looking at Wolverine Volume 1, Issue Number 2. This was published in 1982. It's written by Chris Claremont, pencils by Frank Miller, inks by Joseph Rubenstein, and letters by Tom Orzakowski. So this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, go back and watch that. Um, at the end of issue one, Yukio has found Wolverine in the alley. And she brings it looks like she brings him back to his place. To her place. To her place, yes. Yeah, he's in that fancy hotel. And they wake up and they're surrounded by the hand of these ninjas. And that brings us to maybe my favorite spread of the entire series right here. The perspective is not complicated but it's if anything it proves that perspective doesn't have to be complicated yes you're establishing multiple planes for action to the action establishes the depth by happening on yep. all these planes but it's like it's so beautiful the way that um there is all this empty space around that, that kind of frames everything but um i don't know i feel like there's a couple artists in the history of comics that seem like they have unlimited action poses. Like, yes. And so, like, John Buscema is one of them. Frank Miller's one of them. There's probably a whole bunch of other ones that I could think of if I have to. But I feel like this is great. I love this guy right here. He's falling out backwards. Yeah. Um, and you just, I don't know. I, I just love this whole thing. Your, your eyes kind of just wander all around, and then they keep going around and around. So... I love this two-page spread a lot. Um, and so Yukio and Wolverine are fighting the hand. And I have to, to make a correction. In the first video, I said this was Yuriko, which is Lady Deathstrike. Yeah. But this is a different character. This is Yukio. Yeah. Okay. Um, I like this. Can you imagine how this looks in the reprint, probably? Probably, like, not... Like, look at that all the... Prob that, that's probably straight magenta. Yes. And 100% cyan. Yeah, like not interesting at all, but it, it looks like there's so much depth there with the, the newsprint. Um, so this is all them fighting the hand, and he's going off, uh, and he grabs Yukio, and they get out of there. They go to her place. His place. His place. Yeah. This is the fancy hotel. Oh, okay. Anytime right. you see that weird octagonal panel set up with the windows, that's his fancy hotel. You know, I never even noticed that. Like, that's so interesting. Um, And she's trying to come on to him. She wants to sleep with him. And he's warming up to her, but at some point he uh, he says I no. Can't, I can't look at your face without seeing her. Yeah, without seeing Mariko. Yeah. So he goes and he uh, sleeps by himself and she says in her, in her head, she's like, you are mine. Then we go to uh, the office of Marco's father, who's like we said again, he's like a Yakuza guy. Yeah. And this uh, stranger is barges her way into his appointment. Yeah. And it turns out to be Yukio. And he's like, how dare you interrupt this meeting? And he tells his goon or whatever to attack her and... She's able to subdue him or whatever. Yep. Um, Miller kind of... I never noticed that until just now. Miller really tempting the you no know, damage to the eye in the comic code. Thing. Yeah, yeah. But they also had Wolverine say damn it in the first issue. Yeah. Like, there's a bunch of weird shit. The comic code's useless. You know what I never noticed here except this? Is this implying that uh, the hat gets cut in half? Yeah. That's, I don't know why I never he, noticed He that. was going for her, and I guess her, her hat her, must have she slipped threw off. her hat or she lost it, but he... He sliced the hat in half. I think, it's, yeah, it's supposed to illustrate how fucking quick she is. It's cool. It's just like a cool little thing. I don't know. I didn't notice. So, and this is where it gets a little confusing if you're not paying attention. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can try to explain exactly what's happening. I feel here. like the exposition dialogue is made to prevent confusion, but it would have been a lot less confusing if they just had a c normal conversation. Yes. And let us figure things out more organically. Yeah. 
So Marco's father is describing to her the next job that he has yeah. for y- Yukio. Describing to Yukio, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's an assassination plot on a rival Yakuza boss, right? Yeah. Um, now, she has to involve Wolverine in this in this uh, this job, and also other people involved are Mariko, his daughter, and Mariko's husband. Yeah, Nabooru to uh, to provide a false second, a false sense of security to everyone involved except Yukio and Wolverine. Yeah, and then she's supposed to kill Wolverine, right? Yeah, after it's over. So basically, uh, his daughter is going to be there as his representative just to make everyone else feel like nothing bad is going to happen because he would never put his daughter in danger. Right. And because of that, this is when Yukio is supposed to assassinate this crime boss and then kill Wolverine after that. Yes. Okay. All right. So she convinces Wolverine. She like kind of tricks him into saying that they have to go kill this crime lord because otherwise she's gonna right. die, whatever. And they get there, and um, uh, the this is the mob boss. This is Marco's husband, and this is Marco, and then this is the crime boss's wife. Right. Okay. During sort of like this, uh, like it's just a kabuki play. Yeah, it's just a play. And at that moment, um, this Kabuki person is going to attack Wolverine? or No, Wolverine's just realizing something's up because you just drew a real katana. Yeah. Yeah. So he knows what's going on. Or Wolf- he doesn't know what's going on. Almost foreshadowing Dark Knight again because that's fucking Batman. That's Batman, that, yes. That's not even Frank Miller's Batman. That's fucking Neil Adams' Batman. Yes. You're right. <laughs> right. And... This is a cool. This is a cool layout right here. You have the two uh, empty panels, top and bottom, and then two yeah. in the middle. But this is another. When I was talking about having endless uh, action poses, this I'm not even sure how I would come up with that. Strange. Right. Like it have to be like pausing a movie, or something like that. He's fighting all these guys, and then this is the crime boss. He slaps Noburu, which is Mariko's husband, and he's because he believes that Noburu is part of the hit. Um, yeah, the Kabuki player was meant to threaten Noburu and Mariko to draw Wolverine's attention away from everything else, and Wolverine, being the unknown element there, draw everyone's attention to Wolverine. Yeah. So when they run away, they'll feel totally secure much like they do but <laughs> like it's just like so much more complicated it's, it needs to be like have we'll, we're gonna have this <laughs> kabuki guy come out and make it look like an ambush on them he's gonna get confused and think they're ambushing him yeah. and he'll run away and we'll blow up the car you could just you could have had Nabooru fucking insult him. Yeah. And he could just say, fuck this. I'm going home to have sex with my wife. Yeah. Boom. I'm going to go home and sleep with my wife. Yeah, it's... <laughs> and, you know, what's this interesting, too, is, like, when you're reading it, it sort of makes sense to you, and, like, uh, you don't totally understand it, but you're like, oh, I know what's going on. Trying to trying for us to explain exactly what's going is, is it doesn't is sound difficult. dumb until you say it out loud. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> J R H N B R, just the right height. No bucket is required. I happen to have a pony mare that is J R H N B R. So he's still fighting all the hand, and then uh, and then it ends with Marco and Wolverine. And like you said earlier off camera, um, she's shocked because she's never seen him like berserk or whatever. Yeah, like her her father's been saying Wolverine's a beast and here maybe he is. Yeah. And then in the end... She she walks away without turning her head even, that's what he says. 
And Yukio is very like satisfied with herself because now, yeah, she gets the gotcha when the car explodes, and yeah. now gotcha when Wolverine has his heart broken. Yeah. <laughs> so that is that is issue two of volume two of Wolverine. We're gonna have our issue three coming up. You can look for that. Uh, my Instagram and Josh's Instagram are in the description of this video. We also have the comic book lexicon Instagram in the description of this video. So thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Good night. Stay safe.